Hello everyone. OpenAI announced the introduction of the new Chat GPT API that developers can now integrate with. I will show how we can call this API directly from the Power Platform, leverage it inside of Power Apps, in fact, create the entire Chat GPT experience conversational AI directly inside of a Power App. So let's check it out in action. OpenAI announced the introduction of ChatGPT APIs. Chat completions is powered by GPT 3.5 Turbo model, which is a much more advanced model, better able to follow the instructions and provide better outputs, build applications like draft an email or any other piece of writing, write code, answer questions, translate languages, and a lot more. We've also been provided with OpenAPI Playground related to the new Chat Completions API. So as a user, I interact with the bot and the assistant provides a response. I'll ask a question. It provides me the response. This is conversational AI in action. It understands my context. So if I ask a follow-up question, offline mode, the AI understands that my context is related to offline mode for Power Apps. This is powered by GPD 3.5 Turbo model. We've also been provided with an example of how the API call looks like. So let's see how we can bring in this capability inside Power Platform. In Power Apps, I'll head over to Discover. Under Data, we have Custom Connectors. I'll go ahead and pin this on the left navigation. I'll create a new Custom Connector from blank. I'll give my connector a name. Click Continue. I can upload an icon for this connector. The host is api.openai.com. I'll head over to the security tab. It requires an API key. Parameter label would be API key. Parameter name would be authorization. I'll head over to definition. This is where we'll create an action to point to the new ChatGPT API. I'll provide the name provided an operation ID, the request, I will import from sample. It is a post method to the URL api.openai.com v1 chat completions. The header content type is application slash JSON. The body, it requires the model. It's in the form of JSON model comma, messages, which is an array of objects that includes role and content. So I've gone ahead and plugged in the JSON for messages, which is an array of objects that has role and content. Now, once I'm done with this, I will go ahead and click import. So the request has the header content type that I will go to edit give it a default value, make it required and internal. I'll go back, body, I'll go to edit, make this required and important. And all of the three properties within it, I will make it required and important. I'll click back. Next, I'll go to test. So I have to create the connector before testing. So I'll click create the connector. To test it, I need my API key. So I can simply copy my key. Back to the connector. I need a connection to this connector. So I'll create a new connection. It's asking for the API key. This needs to be in the form of bearer. 
space your key. I'll click create and this should go ahead and create a connection to my chat GPT connector. Back to my custom connectors. Here is the chat GPT connector. I will go to edit, go to test. This time it will pick my connection and I can go ahead and test this operation. Model, I'll put in GPT 3.5 turbo, role, user, in the content, I will ask my question and click test operation. And I go ahead and receive the response. The response body is what I will simply copy, go back to definition, go to response and click default, import from sample, paste the body, click import, and I will go ahead and update the custom connector. Once the connector is successfully updated, to use it in a power app, I will create a blank canvas app. I'll give my app a name. I'll pick phone as the format for the app and click create. For this app, I will go to data, add data, search for the chat GPT connector that I built, select. I already have my connection. I'll select the connection. In my screen, I will insert a text input control. I'll keep it blank by default. I'll insert an icon, place it right here. So when the user clicks on this, I would like to call my custom connector. I can use the connector name. So chat GPT connector. IntelliSense will provide the actions available within that custom connector. We have our chat API action that expects the first property, which is the model. Model will be GPT 3.5 turbo messages. This is the array of data that I have to pass. And to do that, I will create a collection here. I'll call it call chat. And in this, I'll provide those two properties that I have to pass, which are role. This would be user, comma, content would be the data in this text box. Content would be the data entered in that text box. Close the collect function, close the chat API action call. The response that I will get from this. I will store it in a variable called where response. Now, once I get the response, I would want to ensure that I store that response as well in this collection. I will collect data in the collection and this data would be that response variable dot choices. This returns an array of information. I just need the first value, which is the response from the API dot message the message that gets returned that's the response from the bot which includes role and content those two key properties that i'm looking out for and at the end of this i will ensure that i reset the text input control and to display the information i will insert a flexible height gallery set its layout to blank the data source for this gallery, I will use that collection. I will edit the gallery, insert a label. This label, the text would be this item dot role. And then I will insert another label that I'll position on the right hand side. Set its auto height to on. The text would be this item dot content. So let's test this out. I'll click preview. I'll start with a hello. The bot responds with hello there. How can I assist you today? I will ask a question. What is chat GPT? The bot provides the response. This is truly conversational in nature. I ask the question, what can I do with it? 
enter remember it's contextual so it understands that the context of my previous question was what is chat gpt and it provides me the response of what can i do with chat gpt sprinkle some ui updates in my app what is power apps that's me as the user asking the question the bot response my next question is offline possible and i can keep asking questions in a conversational manner i can reset the conversation basically clear the conversation all i did here was clear that collection notice how the gallery automatically sets the focus on the last item so the user does not even have to scroll to get the recent context the way i did that is for the default property of the gallery i set it to last of call chat and with the power of components i can completely encapsulate the entire process of creating this chat gpt experience within power apps this i have created in a component library and components that are published via the component library are available to be leveraged across apps so here's another user in my tenant sara sara goes ahead and creates a new power app and if sara wants to leverage that chat gpt component sara will go to insert get more components sara can select the components she would like to insert in the power app i'll select the chat gpt component and click import once that is successfully imported under library components here's the chat gpt component preview and here is that full chat gpt experience if you enjoyed this video then do like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you so much for watching.